Hello everyone, I'm Carlos Fuentes. I'm Alex Lovana. James Tyson. Tom Pong. Tim Husek. And pretty much we're here to tell you about the myth of whether eating Pop Rocks and soda will make you explode. Now Pop Rocks began circulating in 1975 by General Foods. The legend itself being passed around in 1979. The myth became such a problem for the company, they had to set up a hotline specifically to answer calls from concerned parents. Perfect. The TV show Mythbusters did this very same experiment on their very first episode. We're going to show you the results after our experiment. Perfect. Now each of us has our own soda, our own bag of Pop Rocks. We'll ingest the Pop Rocks and the soda and hopefully not explode. Just to be safe, we're going to give it about five minutes, let everything settle, and make sure that the test is thorough. Alright guys, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Three. Two, one, go. <laughs> no, you don't need to chug it. We'll be back to you in five minutes to see the results. Clearly, we're all none the worse for wear. Now this myth seems like it should be plausible. Carbon dioxide is a gas, and soda and Pop Rocks both do contain small amounts of carbon dioxide. The famous popping comes from small air pocket of carbon dioxide being released as the candy dissolves in your mouth. Our bodies are designed to dispel these gases in a natural way. It could be through the mouth or, you know, the other end. If you put the Pop Rocks inside the bottle and seal the bottle, the gas inside the bottle would cause the bottle to expand but not explode because there's not enough air pressure. Yep. Okay, it's been five minutes. We've ingested all the Pop Rocks in the soda and we're all still here. We've, we haven't exploded. How do you feel, James? Feeling a little gassy, otherwise I think I'm all right. Yeah. Oh. All in all, the Smith may seem true, but we just proved that it's not. It has some science behind it and seems plausible, but it's been debunked before, including on several occasions, Mythbusters and several other websites. All right, kids, don't forget. Don't, don't try, try this at home. home.